Hi, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. This is the project we're making today. Look. Okay, so the supplies you're going to need is one piece of the thick Whisper White cardstock. This is a full sheet that measures 8.5 by 11. Then we've got just a like 3 by 3 piece of the um, Dazzling Diamonds Glimmer paper. Peach, peekaboo, peekaboo peach, <laughs> 3 by 3 regular Whisper White 3x3. So these are for this image right here. And then the Designer Series paper. So what you're going to do is cut your first strip at 4 inches and you need two pieces that measure 4 by 2 and 3 quarters, two pieces that measure 4 by 2 and 7 eighths, two pieces that measure 4 by 7 eighths, that's for the side panels here, and then one piece that measures three by two and three quarter, okay? The stamp set that we're using is perfectly wrapped and we're gonna be using that with the Peekaboo Peach ink. Okay, so we're gonna take the Simply Scored scoring tool and we're gonna place it on the landscape side, which means the longest side that measures 11 inches. And we're going to score it at three, and four, seven, and eight. And again, this is the thick Whisper White. Now we're gonna put it in the land, on the landscape, or the portrait side, and we're gonna score it at three and a quarter, and four and a quarter. Okay, so now what you want to do is find the side that is the longest, which is this side here. Okay, see this one's shorter. So this one's the longest. So what we're going to do is we're going to score with a ruler and our stylus from this score line here to this score line here. If we pick this up and we fold it, you can see that score line there and this score line here. So you want to use a ruler and you want to score a straight line. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's see. Get that one lined up and then this one. And I'm going to use the smaller tip of the stylus. Now I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So I'm just going to place my ruler on the edge of that score line. Here's my template, so I am doing it right. It's just when I turned it upside down, it, it confused me there for a second. And I was holding the paper wrong. What you're doing is, is you're cutting off the top part of that, not the bottom. I almost scored this in the wrong spot. So see that, that's the part we're gonna cut off right there, okay? So now, I'm going to go ahead and fold on the rest of these score lines, and I'm going to show you then <clears throat> exactly where to cut. Okay, taking my scissors now, I'm going to go straight across and cut that piece off. And you can just save this for later to use with some flowers or something. Okay, that's done. Now we want to cut straight across. And then for here, we're going to cut all of this off and right here all we need to do is cut to the score line okay now we're going to do the same thing on this side so cut all the way to that second score line in and then come down here and remove this section and then you're going to cut across now what I recommend you do is go to my website and print the picture of this template, okay? Because if you do that, 
and then you set it on your desk to recreate this project, it, I promise you it will eliminate all the confusion. Because it's really easy. It's just, it just looks strange, doesn't it? Don't be worried. Okay, so now what we're going to do is attach our designer series paper. These two pieces, we're going to trim to fit on these diagonal pieces here. So I'm going to get my trimmer out. I'm sorry, sometimes it's not easy to word things. <laughs> um, so I'm going to place the tip of the designer series paper right there in the track. And I'm going to cut straight across. And I'm doing that to both pieces. Okay, we don't need the trimmer anymore. So I'm going to show you how this assembles. And then we'll continue to add our paper. Okay, so this is going to go up just like that. And like that. Isn't that so cool? Okay, so now let's decorate it. Like I said, we're going to add our paper. So this one is going to fit over here. Wait, let's see. This is going to fit here. I'm just going to take my liquid glue I don't want to get too much because I don't want it seeping out the side I gotta turn this so I can see it I can't see okay there's that one Okay, now we're going to do the second panel and it just dawned on me that I need to show you um, how to cut this paper um, at the angle because I didn't show you the right way on the camera. So when you go to cut your two and three quarter inch pieces at the angle, Okay, so this is your two and three quarter, okay? So your first piece, you're going to line up on the stamp and trimmer, and you're going to cut at an angle like that, okay? Then the next time, the next piece, the second piece, you want to line up the script side and cut. So that allows you to have these two pieces. Otherwise, you would have this pattern and then this pattern, okay? So just remember the second one to turn upside down. I did not do that in the camera view, so I'll make sure I make a note of it when I edit the video, okay? So now we're gonna add our uh, three, what is this one? Three by two and three quarters. So that's gonna go on this section right here. Again, I'm still using my liquid glue. You can use whatever adhesive you want. This actually works really well. Okay. I don't think I addressed that um, this one was done in the Flirty Flamingo. It happens to be my favorite of the end colors. So now we're going to add this piece on the inside. This is the one that measures um, uh, four by two and seven eighths, and we're going to add one to the back as well. Okay, so let me move this out of the way, get my adhesive again. this over. I'm going to add this to the inside. I was going to use the um, Pop of Pink Designer Series paper for this project and then it's on back order for a little while so I, I changed up my project and um, decided to use this paper. Showing you some more of the end colors. Okay, see how this is going together? Now all we have to do is add our two little pieces here. So those were the ones that measure seven eighths of an inch, four by seven eighths. Okay. 
This is the last one. Okay, so I'm going to show you how it assembles again. We're going to put adhesive on these two tabs right here. And then we're going to put adhesive down here, okay? So I'm just going to use my snail. I would normally use my fast fuse. You only want to place the adhesive down here on the bottom. Don't go past um, where this would, well, I'll show you when I go to assemble it. Okay, so I'm going to attach these two tabs to this part. Okay, like that. Did I get that? I did not. Just make sure you close it all the way. There. Okay, now bring these over or up. And then just do one of these at a time, okay? And if you assembled it properly, it should work. Okay, looks cute, doesn't it? Okay, so for the inside, we've got some new bags. What are these? These are the three by six gusseted cellophane bags. I've just thrown some um, Hershey Kisses on the inside. So if you ever come into my house, don't eat the candy in my office because it could be a year old or it could be hmm, 13 years old. I don't think I have any 13 year old, but I definitely have some old candy in here. Who knows how old these kisses are? <laughs> okay, so we're just going to place that in there. I did kind of a quick and dirty um, assembly of that. So now let's stamp our image. While I'm doing this, head over to my website, leave a comment to enter to win. We're going to send the kit to make this project to one person and we will already have scored your uh, and cut your white cardstock for you, okay? So that way, when we send you the kit, it's gonna be nice and compact, so it don't cost us a lot of money to ship it. Okay, so we're cutting out the thanks with the one and three quarter circle punch, and then we're gonna cut out a peekaboo peach with the two inch circle punch. We're gonna take our leftover piece here, and we're gonna cut out a little flower with the tree builder punch. And then I'm going to get the big shot and we're going to cut out our scallop circle using the layering circle framelits. And the measurement of this one is two and a half, I believe. It looks like it's two and a half. Here's the big shot. Magnetic platform, cutting pad, glimmer paper, and framelit. Our circle. Isn't it awesome? Okay, I'm going to place a rhinestone right inside the middle of that flower. Just like that. Whoops, it's not in the center. I take it back. Let's see. That rhinestone looked a little wonky. I think it had some extra adhesive on it. Okay, so now this piece is going to get attached to the glimmer paper with glue dots because it really, the glue dots help hold it to the glimmer paper. This piece is going to get popped up with a dimensional. Place that right in the middle. This one's going to get attached with a glue dot just right down here at the bottom and then we're going to attach it to our box using dimensionals okay so I'm just going to take the backing off of the dimensionals and place it right in the middle isn't that so cute have a great day thanks a lot bye <music>